This is the Wisecam outdoor camera. And if you've seen the thumbnail, why is it a fail? Let's find out. Hello guys, Lifehackster here. Today we are going to check and test out the new Wisecam Outdoor. This is the camera that a lot of Wise users have been asking about since they released their original plugged-in Wisecam. So we will check out its features, do the unboxing, set it up, check out the settings in the app, do the install, and run the usual battery of tests, and see if this battery-powered Wise Outdoor Cam will find its way to your home. First, let's check out its features. So this is the Wise Cam Outdoor, wire-free. This is a battery powered which is built into the camera and is not removable or replaceable. It comes with a base station. You can connect up to 4 outdoor cams to a base station. This camera records in 1080p Full HD. Wire free, it has a free rolling 14 day cloud storage for 12 seconds, event videos. It has night vision. You can get up to 6 months with this rechargeable battery. It is IP65 weather resistant. It uses a PIR or Passive Infrared Motion Detection. It has expandable storage. You can insert a microSD card to the camera. Also, the base station has another microSD card slot for backup storage. Let's check the more detailed specs from their website. The Wisecam Outdoor records in 1080p and has a 110 degree field of view. And it has 8 850 nanometers infrared LEDs to see up to 25 feet at night. The camera records in 20 frames per second in daytime and 10 fps at night and has 8 times digital zoom. It has a built-in battery, two 2600 milliamp hour rechargeable batteries, which depending on use will last from 3 to 6 months. Operating temperature of negative 4 degrees to 120 degrees Fahrenheit and has an IP65 rating. Both the camera and the base station have micro SD card slot and is compatible up to 32 gigabytes. And I'll tell you more about this later on because this is one of my disappointments. Time to open up the box. We have the camera which I'll show later on. We have the base station and has two antennas. Wise branding on top and a status light. On one side, we have a USB port, vent slits, and a reset hole. On the other side, we have the sync button and a micro SD card slot and also some vent holes. On the bottom, we have a mounting screw slot and vents, and a non-skid rubberized area. On the back, we have a 12-volt power port and an Ethernet port to connect to your router. Now for the camera, and because of the batteries, it has some weight to it. So we have a Death Star-looking camera which shares its cube design from their original Wisecam. We have the light sensor, lens, infrared LEDs, and PIR sensor in the front, as well as the mic. On top is the Wise branding. On the back, we have the status light and a rubber flap that covers the micro USB port for charging and an on and off toggle switch. This is the base which you can actually pull out from the camera because the base is magnetic. On the bottom of the camera is a quarter 20 thread. And we have another rubber flap that covers the micro SD card slot and a sync button. You can easily snap the camera on the base and the magnet is pretty strong. What else is inside the box? We have the I backed the Wise Outdoor Camera sticker. And we have the Quick Start Guide. We have the power adapter for the base station, 12 volts and 1 amp. Then we have a micro USB cable that can be used to charge the Wise Cam Outdoor. Then we have a short Ethernet cable to connect the base station to your router. Lastly, we have some mounting screws and plastic anchors. Just a quick size comparison between the wired version 2 Wise Cam and the new Wise Cam Outdoor. Now I wonder where the speakers are. Time to set this up. First thing will be the base station, which needs to be plugged into your router. Download, sign up, and log into the WISE app. Click the plus sign on the upper left corner. Click Add Device. Choose WISE Base Station and make sure your smartphone is connected to the same Wi-Fi network. Plug the base station to power and your router. Wait until the status light turns solid blue and click Next. Name your device and click Finish. Update the firmware when prompted. Click Add Wise Outdoor to add your camera. Flip the power switch at the back of the camera. When the status light turns yellow, click Begin Setup. Press the sync button on the bottom of the camera. Name your camera which I'll name mine Wisecam Outdoor. Let's check out the live view. 
Yup, it works. As you can see, there is barely any latency on this camera. Let's check out the settings in the app. On the main app page, you will see the camera's thumbnail and you will see the battery life and an on and off switch. Clicking on the thumbnail will get you to live view, which loads up pretty quick. On the upper left corner, we have the video quality of the live view, which you can set to HD. Then there is a shortcut to night vision settings and also the battery life. On the bottom, we have the speaker to mute. We have the record button to record the live view which will be saved on your phone's album. Click on the mic to start two-way talk, which is full duplex. Take a snapshot which will also be saved to your phone's album. Clicking more, there is the time-lapse feature, scheduled recording which you can set the camera to record and this will be saved on the micro SD card if you install one. Then we have the album, turn on and off motion tagging and turn off the camera. On the upper right corner is the gear icon to get to the camera settings. We have the event recording to turn on and off recording when the camera detects motion. And this will be saved in the cloud. We have the cooldown where the camera will not record between motion events. You can choose from 5, 3, and 1 minute. If you install a microSD card in the base station, you can back up the footage that was uploaded to the cloud to the microSD card. Then we have notifications for the app to send you notifications when motion has been detected and also when the camera has low battery. Detection settings. You can set the distance from close to far and also the sensitivity from low to high or 100. Detection zone. This camera doesn't have motion zones but only a guide where you can tilt the camera up or down to optimize the detection. We have advanced settings where you can change the night vision mode to off, auto, or always on. Infrared LEDs, on or off timestamp and watermark on or off. Rotate image 180 degrees if you install this outdoor cam in a ceiling. Show WISE logo, microSD card storage which will show the amount of storage you have on both the camera and the base station. Take note, motion triggered recordings are not recorded on the camera's microSD card. On the base station, there is a backup of your cloud recordings. There is the travel mode which I'll do another video on and on this mode you'll be able to access the camera, record events, and even set up time lapse without needing the base station or for the camera to connect to the internet. On the main app page on the bottom is the events tab which will show the recordings of your WISE cameras and you can filter just the WISE cam outdoor and these are the 12 second clips that were uploaded to the cloud. Time to do some testing. Now, because the Wisecam Outdoor will only record 12 second clips, unless you want to subscribe to their Cam Plus subscription, which I won't, for the video quality and night vision test, I have to record from Live View. So, this is the video quality test for the Wisecam Outdoor camera, and this is at 10 feet, 15, 20. 25, 30, 35, 40, This is the video quality So this is the video quality of the white cam outdoor at night and with the night vision and infrared LED off. And this is at 10 feet, 15, 20, 25, so we are going to test the motion alert notification speed of the uh, Wisecam outdoor camera 
and uh, I'm on my LTE connection and let's check it out I actually already know uh, how fast or how slow it is but I can tell you right now it is going to take a while uh, this is one of my disappointments uh, this camera and I really thought that they learned from their original Wise Cam, which has the same, about the same amount of delay, about 20 to 30 seconds. But with a PIR motion sensor camera, I don't know why they had the, they used the same algorithm. So we're just gonna wait here. There you go. See, I got a notification. And if you press and hold, you'll be able to see. And I don't know, that was about a minute. It feels like it's a minute. And when you press on it, then it will play that footage. It loads up, but that's about probably 30, 45 seconds later. That's how slow this wise cam outdoor camera is so i'm not going to show you the uh, cool off period of the uh, wise outdoor camera just because on the event recording you can actually dial down your cool down period from uh, one minute to five or three minutes and it, it does work i don't know why you can't have a cool down less than a minute uh, but that's the settings uh, on the app as to the cooldown period. So now we are going to test the uh, maximum detection distance of the uh, Wisecam outdoor camera. And I've uh, dialed my sensitivity to 100, which is the farthest, and the image sensitivity to the highest. So we'll see. Now, because of the notification delay, this might take a while, but I'm going to start off at 30 feet, which will be the, should be the maximum distance of a PIR sensor. So, so we'll see. Hopefully, it will detect us and we're going to wait here for about 20, 30 seconds. That's how long the motion notification is on this camera, which I think it makes it unusable as a security camera. The person that triggered the event is way gone, have robbed your house, took everything, and probably came back the second time before you get a notification. So as you can see, uh, the detection distance the motion detection distance is around 30 feet, which works, the PIR sensor. But you notice the delay. Let me see. There you go. But you noticed how long it took to get notified. Okay. Let's see when it uh, got triggered. Right there. Well, I can tell you that this camera is a fail for WISE if you consider this as a security camera. Alert notification speed is the same or actually might be slower than their plugged-in WISE cam. And this advertising on their site stating respond in real time will never happen. Do you think the UPS guy will wait 40 seconds for you to respond? You have to add the time on top of the delay and notification of you opening the app, wait for the camera to load, and for you to turn on two-way talk. And by that time, the UPS guy is already gone and probably has delivered packages to two other houses. I let this notification delay slide by with their indoor camera, but for an outdoor cam, you need to be notified the soonest time as possible. A lot could have happened in 30 to 40 seconds. The person that triggered the motion might have already stolen your packages or worse, already gotten inside your house. 
I also noticed when I checked the camera that it doesn't have speaker holes. Well, outdoor cameras need to have loud and bigger speaker because it has to compete with the ambient sound outside. There are not a lot of Wi-Fi security cameras that has loud enough speakers. And with Wise, I'm not sure where they put their speakers, but you can barely hear anything. So if we go back to our respond in real time example, but let's say the UPS guy has nothing else to do but waste his time waiting and waited for you to respond, then the next problem is that he will barely hear you with a wimpy sound coming from the camera. Now let's talk about the micro SD cards. Both the camera and the base station have micro SD card slots, but the one in the camera is not used for motion recording. It is only used for their time lapse feature or manually set scheduled recordings. The one in the base station can be used to back up the cloud recordings, which is still limited to 12 second clips and it will not record the whole motion event. I'm not sure if Wise is going to update this in the future so as to be able to record the full motion events, which should have been its main purpose. It might have something to do with their subscription service, which used to be the complete motion capture, and they renamed it the Cam Plus, where you can record full length motion activated videos, not just the 12 seconds of it, and also will have their AI, which you can only choose to get notifications when people are detected, and it will be priced at $1.99 per camera per month. Video quality is okay for a 1080p camera. Motion detection distance is pretty good, but it doesn't have motion zones. I have to crank up the sensitivity and detection distance and haven't had any false motion recordings. I'll be doing another video about the travel mode and the wise cam outdoor in my future videos and see if it redeems itself because as a security camera, I will not be able to recommend this. There are a lot more other battery powered cameras that will perform better as a Wi-Fi security camera. Any questions? Comment down below. Thanks for watching and I hope you liked this video. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't done it yet. And click the bell notification so as to get notified when I upload product reviews like this video, product updates that hopefully Wise will do to this camera, comparison videos, and long-term reviews. Thank you.